Welcome to Drop Zone, the ultimate race across the world. Three, two, one, go! Eight teams from around the UK have volunteered for the adventure of a lifetime. Over six weeks, they face a series of physical and mental challenges, from the tough to the downright bizarre. We get stuck in, and it's gone! In six stunning locations around the globe. Look at this monstrous. There are no prizes. It's all about the journey. Which kicks off in the wilds of Skye on the west coast of Scotland. And climaxes in the heat and hustle of Hanoi, Vietnam. Friendships will be tested. Which way forward the barrel world? Even from this height, I can tell they're arguing. I am finished. Bodies broken. All in a race to escape the drop zone. Arrive last, and the chopper will leave without you. There were eight teams. Now there are just four, and no one's ready to go home. They're about to face their toughest challenge yet. 48 hours in the steaming heart of the jungles of northern Thailand. Under the dense tree canopy, the teams will have to combat unforgiving terrain, extreme humidity, and torrential downpours. So ready or not, someone's going home. This is Drop Zone. It all started on a Scottish beach four weeks ago. Since then, four teams have been eliminated and the drop zones have got a whole lot tougher. Last time, it was the cosmopolitan city of Istanbul. Its labyrinthine streets in searing temperatures put an end to Rope Trick's dreams of becoming drop zone champions. It totally went wrong today and it just sort of all in that moment, I was really trying not to cry. It's just quite a draining feeling, having worked so hard to get somewhere to know that you're not going on further. Now we're in Thailand for the semi-final and the gloves are off. The four teams left in the competition are... Brummy best mate Streetwise. We're in it to win it now, so you know, there's no pali-pali, it's all in it to win it, game on. Cambridge undergraduates, the Geeks. I think we may have got complacent in the last couple of rounds. We've got to pick up our game, but there's no way we're going out. Out of work actors, the lovies. We just really need to get our, our game together and try to stay in and at least get to the final. And Turkey's winning team, the Fashionistas. Every team needs to watch their back now because we are back and we are back in style. You come first! <laughs> There's no friends in this game, as we well know. We want to win it, and we'll win it by any means necessary. Welcome to your penultimate drop zone in Thailand. The next two days will determine who our drop zone finalists will be. Your first challenge begins at the bottom of the 516 steps leading to Changdo's Wat Tam Paplong Buddhist Temple. You will have to carry offerings of water, light and incense up the 516 steps to the temple at the top. You will only receive your next clue if the candle is still lit, the water bowl is still full and the incense still burns. If the candle goes out, if you spill the water, or if the incense goes out, you will have to return to here to replenish your offerings and start again. Now, the chest contains everything you'll need to complete the challenge, but you need to get in there first. To do that, you'll have to find the correct combination for the padlock. That is a huge pile of rice. On one single grain is a four digit code. Of course, we didn't want it to be too easy, so we threw in a few other grains with different combinations on them. Happy hunting, Sam, Song, Noong, Bai. That's good, that's good. They ain't messing around with this challenge, are they? Wow. Just pull out rice. Oh, wait, wait, not too much. Oh, wait, 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 w
That'd be amazing if this is it. Oh, come on, some good luck for the fashion nieces for once. Oh, eh? No. As we know, locks, keys and luck aren't a winning combination for the fashionistas. In Greece, they had to dive more times than any other team to retrieve a key. I think the fashionistas are in luck. And when they got one, they didn't know how to use it. I can't believe it. I think that was one of our keys early because I was trying to open the locks. And we were, we were putting them against the gold metal, not knowing that you can lift up the metal and turn the key. And I reckon that was one of ours. And in Istanbul, they came unstuck with Turkish delight. Show the camera your face! Come on! You're the only team who hasn't found one, yeah? Thanks for leaving. Shed loads of jelly on it, mate. This could take forever. Oh, got one, got one. Aha! This could be the break they've been waiting for. No, oh, come That's on. Really How many have you found? Uh, three so far, three duds. Oh, hang on, hang on. on. Nobody else has found any. We found two. Don't we lie. Found two. Oh, sorry, guys. Oh, yeah. goodness. It's a, like it a nerve there. It's a nice technique, Al. You've clearly stroked rice before now. Lost here. That's right. One. Carry on. Patience. Yeah, we've got one. The geeks have got lucky. The first combination they find opens the lock. Grab your gear and come with me. Well done. We're joking. They're doing really well, aren't they? Hey, look, it's your first step out of 516. Only 515 to go. I've got one. I've got one. I'll give you a shout if it is it. And it's not. The geeks are now facing a drop zone dilemma. Getting a head start on these steps could give them a major advantage in the trek ahead. But if they go fast, they could spill the water. And if they go too slowly, the incense will burn out before they reach the top. Either way, of course, the candle could blow out. If any of these happen, they'll have to come back to the bottom of the steps and start all over again. Lovely. And good luck. Chances are I'll be seeing one of you quite soon. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, this is fantastic. That's the way to do it. Yeah. Oh my! Oh my. Ready to go. That's streetwise second off the mark. Everything you need is here, fire and water. Okay, good luck. <laughs> that looks hilarious. <laughs> I do understand. Nim's in, in trouble already. Nim's technique is incredible. This is it. <laughs> it's fantastic. Streetwise have already taken over the geeks, but Yes. Yeah, yes. good girl. Well done. Well done. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's just go. Let's just the go. lobby's a well third, fast. leaving the fashionistas in dreaded last place. No. Oh. Everything you need is just here water and fire. Water's a tough one, I'll tell you that much. Patience, my child. Whoops! Less than 30 steps up and Streetwise have lost their mojo. Well, the candle's gone out. One, three, one, four. Ten. Right, yeah. go ahead. Way! The fashionistas are off at last. Yeah. Good luck, man. Sorry, girls. Fire and water. I fill it to the top so you've got a bit of play. Yeah, yeah. Good luck. And they're off. Stand here and wait now. This is how the monks do it. They take their time like this. The key to this task is slow and steady. But maybe not that slow, Nim. Nim, you've got to go a bit quicker. Got to go as quick as Elliot, at least, mate. The 516 steps up to the temple represent the path to enlightenment. We can only hope. It's quite spiritual, doesn't it? Well, it is, yeah. Lovely. Do not grumble when you suffer, just persevere. I love that. Yeah, can you try and resist the urge to drink from the bowl? Yes. <laughs> Nim's perseverance seems to be making Alex suffer and grumble a bit. How far, Joe? I might just give up the whole the whole drop zone and just join the monastery. Suck a lose lose yeah. Can you see how much got left? Look. Oh no, you're alright. You'll be alright. You sure? Yeah. I really need to scratch my face. Nim, we're like seriously far behind. Got it. Yeah, for the moment.
Streetwise the first to the top, and with all their offerings as they should be, they're accepted. But this isn't the end of their long climb, oh no. The path to enlightenment leads to yet more steps. Where the all important clue to the team's first destination is waiting. The first checkpoint is an ancient Buddhist jetty, two miles south of the temple through the jungle. To get there, the teams have a choice of two routes. The nature trail, a reasonably clear and direct route, but it's long and undulating. Or the gully trail, which is shorter, but involves trekking through the thick undergrowth round the back of the temple. For streetwise, route choice is crucial. In previous drop zones, they've done well in the challenges. Ooh! Oh my! Oh my! Yeah, get the hell out of here. Well done. But their map reading has invariably let them down. I cannot read maps. Can't read maps. There's been no real skills in the map reading whatsoever. Just guessed our way out of everything. Maps are just, they just do us in every time. Yeah, they do us in every time. Every time. The Northern Thai jungle is one of the toughest and most dangerous environments the teams have yet faced. So Streetwise should take time to study the map carefully before deciding on a route. Where's the gully trail? The gully trail's here. This is the gully trail. You see it there? It's the sign. Oh yeah, come, let's go that way. Or they could just hope for the best. Just because of the path, are you sure we're going the right way? Like. Back on the steps. Let's get us. I've got, we've got to get more incense. The other three teams are making slow progress. How far is it? I think my incense has got about two minutes left. Are you joking? I thought you were carrying the water. Yeah. That didn't work out well for us. You spilled the water as well? No, we spilled. That should be smoking now, bro. Yeah. Give him a blow. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Good luck. Good luck. So if the geeks' incense has just run out, it stands to reason that the other team's incense will also be running out very soon. Surely. Okay, I'll be like Good that. luck, Ollie. Good luck. Call me psychic. Instinct um, incense has gone for now. Quickly back down, Ollie. Oh, nice run, sir. Okay, no incense. No, that was good. Alex, right, you need to take that. The Buddha blew my candle out, so I don't know. No, it's not. <laughs> I heard you're in the market for a candle. There's a lot of steps, Steve. Oh yeah, 516. Well done, babe. Ah, got some hair. Got some hair. I still haven't got my breath back. This is unhealthy. Painful seeing the fashionistas go off. Well, you've only yourself to blame, and it's not the first time your dithering has left you at the back of the pack. Lamont, L A M O N T, let's think of anagrams. I think Kappa. it's a Klima. Kappa, Lambda, Mu, Alpha, Klima, this way. All the other teams have sort of finished. Let's not get negative, okay? Let's just, you know. But what we have to get around, because we're here. Yeah. No, we're we not. 15 minutes behind Streetwise, the Loveys opt for the nature trail. Yeah, I do too. It's definitely that way we need to be headed. That's what I was getting a bit confused. Good map readers with an eye for detail. This should be a walk in the park. Gully trail, I'm thinking. Yeah. If there may be a little sign. I think this might be here. Might be here. Yes, behind you. Loveys, it's, it's behind you. Loveys? He's probably out there just meditating. That's north, we need to go southeast, which is down. Oh, whatever, just use the outdoor. The fashionistas are off the mark. 
but I've yet to agree which route to take. It's fine, we need to go down there. Okay, let's get down here then. It's down here, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, what is this? I've got to turn around now. It means like down there, no? I thought they were going down to where you were. Whoa, whoa, what's, uh, what's going on? We're like two minutes into the day, you're already arguing. No, I'm not arguing, I'm just trying to find the right uh, route. Two routes? Yeah. Lake this Lake. would seem like the easier one. Did you look at the jungle route and go, I don't want to go on there? No, I don't know why we suddenly didn't take the know. jungle route. I don't know. Come on, do you mind? <laughs> Sorry, go for it. <laughs> That'll be why Sarah is wearing the Rambo headband then. Put it closer to the edge, not in the middle, otherwise it falls. As the undisputed leader of the fashionistas. Come on, guys. Maybe let's speed up a little bit now that we are down here. Sarah is fiercely competitive. Come on, as soon as she comes. Yeah, I get it, I get it. And expects only the best from her team. Come on, guys, let's keep up the pace. Failure is not an option. We obviously didn't have a really good start, as usually, but we will finish ahead, as usually. If you said you know where the nature trail starts, then let's do that. Well, Steve just said the nature trail starts down here as well, so we must be back down there. Through the gate. It's like nature trail something. Yeah. The lovies, who are ahead of the fashionistas, are still looking for the nature trail. Oh. Okay, okay. Uh, you, you turn? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. No, they turn. Well, the road is that way. It's down that way. Uh, you, yeah. you turn. And then that way? Yeah. Yes? Well, that's up to the gully path. Yeah. No, that's not right, well, guys. I think you'll find it is. And the fashionistas have just hit the trail. Let's go back. Let's go back and see if we can find it from there. Where are we? Are we here? He's not understanding us. What we're okay. saying, so okay. I think we should Thank go you. back to the other Thank one. Thank you. We're going to have to go back. We'll do. Okay. Thank you. There has to be a sign. You tried your best, mate. Nature trail. That's it. Oh, did we miss it? Oh, what a pair of plonkers. We all are, the three of us. I know. <laughs> that is not... Fine, doesn't matter. Happy days, here we are. Back at the temple, the geeks have finally completed the task. 20 minutes behind front runners streetwise. Can still do this? Time to go up top and see what we can see. The problem with jungle this dense, as soon as you're in it, you turn around, you don't know where you are. You totally lose your bearings. Turn once, turn twice, spin around. Am I still in Thailand? Where am I? All you know is, you're in a jungle. Up a little bit time. Got to steal the route, beat the route. And each team is dealing with this alien environment in their own unique way. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Should be down here, but. Cut me. It's so easy just to lose it for even seconds, isn't it? We're losing the path, as in we've lost it. This jungle should get in work. Very lucky to be up here in my helicopter. It's very breezy, it's delightful. Down there, 90% humidity. Horrific! Ah! We're going up or around? Right. I can't get up. Although they don't know it, Streetwise are the only team to take the shorter and more dense gully trail. Give me on, give me on, give me on. No, I'm not, I'm not going to do Come on. Yeah, I'm not you're all right, you're all right. Go. See? Thank you, man. Thank you. In temperatures of over 38 degrees, it's proving to be a tough uphill slog. Without clear landmarks, the thick jungle is making it almost impossible for them to get their bearings. I say we just go up there, see what we can see, and kind of find, like, so we can find ourselves. 
find out where we are on the map at least. But in terms of where we want to be walking, we want to be walking that way. But the lovies aren't doing any better on the nature trail. If you think that's a path, I'm happy to second that. No, I don't that. think it is a path, but I think it's, it's easier to get through there than it is there. Like, I, you can't see anything in there. OK, let's have a crack on this path then. Okay. This path. Well, I don't know whether, I don't think it even is a path. In it? inverted commas. Well, there are people track up here. You can see footprints. Yeah, from tigers and bears. <laughs> Push your way through a little bit, I'm afraid. Ah! Whoa! Whoa! Ah! Oh, God, you're such a drama no, queen. No, I'm not! <laughs> She's stuck in the jungle. OK. Ah! Oh, no. ah! There she goes again. <laughs> jungle so hurts me. The lovies are finding oh, the going tough, God. which is a whole new experience for them. Yay! They sail through Scotland. Romp through Austria. With the sound of music. And kept their cool despite furnace like temperatures in Greece and Turkey. We can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, guys, we've come to a village. Oh, gee, there's houses. Oh, well done. It means that it's going to be around here somewhere. Here, but... True, the lovies have made it out of the jungle. <laughs> land, we touch land. <laughs> but doesn't this look a little familiar? This uh, looks like we were right from the beginning. It really does. Oh, you're giving me a heart attack right now. I know, but doesn't it look? It looks exactly like it. It is. No, it, it, it is. This no. is where we started. These are the steps. We've just gone up there and round. Yep, they've managed to trek in a big loop and are now right back at the start. That is funny, I can't believe we've done it. It's a bit of a disaster, but hey, the show must go on. Okay, let's start again. Are we going up the same path again? At least this time they know where the trail starts. Streetwise are persevering with the gully trail, but things don't seem to be getting any easier for them either. We've gone the wrong way, we're trying to head back the right way, but we're getting deeper, deeper into the jungle, and it's getting harder and harder. Hang on a minute. If I'm not very much mistaken, yep, they're also back at the start. Oh dear. The name of the plant? This way? Oh, we need to go the wrong way. Don't worry about that, my youth. While the jungle threatens to swallow both Streetwise and the Lovies, something beautiful could be about to happen. I think the geeks and the fashionistas, yes, have formed a, a super team. Having overtaken the girls, the boys seem happy for them to tag along. It's the fashion geeksters. We were going to go for the gully trade, Me because, we, well. but then we just got a bit confused. Say, well, this is the nature trade. The girls, never a team to miss an opportunity to get ahead, realise that sticking to the map-savvy boys is their fastest way out of the undergrowth. This is definitely the right way. Trust them. Oh, well, then for us, what do you think? Trust the geek. They're following us. Three quarters of an hour later, the fashion geeksters are within sight of the checkpoint. Because yeah, the temple is here, look, that's where we are now. It's going to be another clue, isn't it? They may have been trek buddies for the past hour, but guys, this is a competition. Yeah, yeah. We've got one. He's already got one, so we need one. He's got one. We've yeah. got two. No, we've got one. No, you've got two. He's got Alex. one. Alex has got the other one. Alright. Banyang Pongluang. Banyang Putu. Hang on. Banyang Pongluang. Yeah. yeah, that's the one we were saying. Okay. We had to add south. Today's final destination is the village of Banyang Ponglang, a further three miles southeast from the jetty. Streetwise make the checkpoint almost an hour behind the here leaders. Go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Banyang Pongrung. 
village. Here's our baby. And 50 minutes later, the lovies turn up. Right, where's our clue? A slog through the steaming jungles of northern Thailand might be physically draining, but we want to give their brains a workout too. So we have a little memory task for them. Red Lahu women wear black trousers. Aka, Lawa. And then all the men just wear all black. I mean, it's a lot to remember. If the teams want a night of luxury, and I know mind reader, but I'm guessing they all do, they need to learn the entire contents of this book, which details the traditional costumes of the local Thai tribes. Hmm. Lahu, and Aka, Mong, and Aka. Men wear blue baggy trousers with red or blue shirts. This is our forte, guys. It's fashion. But all's not well in paradise, as the fashion geeksters are having a little tiff. But look, don't you, doesn't it look like the road goes down like that? Look. Mm, we've been doing that for a while now. South Five is that way. This is definitely a bridge. Yeah, I know. We crossed it though, didn't we? No, I say we go now because we're turning away too much. We're going the other way. Down this bend and then. Okay. Not, we can Thank you. Full setting. That'll be the end of a beautiful friendship then. Is it going like is it going off to like half an hour later? Going it alone is not the liberating experience the fashionistas had hoped for. This is east. Oh, no. We need to go southeast. We need to go southwest. Maybe oh. we should have turned left down up there. West up there. You remember? Yeah. While the girls struggle to get their bearings, the other teams are closing in on today's final destination. 500 meters. Welcome to the Karen People's Village. Would you like to hazard a guess at your position? Do you know what? Let's just say first. 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 You'd be right to say that. Congratulations. Good stuff. First. That last half of us. Despite their recent breakup, the fashionistas managed to come in second. Streetwise a third, and finally, the lovies dragged themselves in after an exhausting six hours wandering through the jungle. Hi. Where have you been? We've Where been all we been? over. Oh, We've dirt. had totally the biggest confident. learning curve today. <laughs> yeah. So I, I, we are really confident about tomorrow. We held it all together. Yeah, yes. just about, just about. Even though they were the last to leave the temple, the geeks have, for the first time, managed to win the trek on day one, which gains them an advantage in tomorrow's challenge. We felt the worst pains of defeat and also the sweet taste of victory. We call the story of the tortoise and the hare. The tortoise eventually came first. These Cambridge boffins have done surprisingly well in the jungle, but they're the only team that did. So now what map are you looking at? After their success in the urban jungle of Istanbul, today has been a shock to the system for the fashionistas. I don't like this terrain at all. It's really creeping me out. I'm not used to it. It's beautiful, but it's, it's very easy to get lost. Streetwise were once again victims of their inability to map read. If no one's facing that way and the past facing that way, why are we still going that way? That's just dumb. Get on, get on. Oh. Even the lovies failed to get their bearings and ended up tracking twice the distance of the other teams. This is where we started. These are the steps. We finished the first task in good form. Again, got a good start, got on the map, made rubbish decisions yet again and ended up coming right in a big U-bend, right to where we started. Excellent. Okay, let's start again. After a tough day battling through the jungles of northern Thailand. That's the one they said was a really poisonous one. And with the prospect of more to come, all the teams are hoping for a good night's sleep. But that's a privilege they're going to have to earn. It's that time again. The challenge to decide who's going to have a good night's sleep in a luxury Thai hotel and who's going to have a not so good night's sleep with the Karen people in the area where they keep their animals. So, you're about to play a real-life game of Spot the Deliberate Mistake. Each of these people 
are wearing a traditional dress of four tribes here in northern Thailand. Now, whilst you were racing through Scotland, Austria, Greece and Turkey, we were collecting certain items and now these people are wearing them. The teams get a point for spotting each out-of-place accessory and another point for correctly guessing which country it's from. You have 30 seconds per outfit, starting now. I think it's a little bit Austrian. The bag looks pretty Greek as well. This is a bit dubious. I think it's really Scottish, that dagger. That's only one, yeah? No, it's two. Yeah, but that's definitely a kilt. Yeah. Definitely look. That is definitely a waistcoat from Austria. The hat looks... This looks very Islamic. It's definitely got to be the hat, Yeah. It's got to be. Although this bag is a bit dodge. That's why I think Yeah, this bag is a bit dodge. And you just said they make a bright coloured weave for side, side bags. Weave. What about this? I think this is Greece, not Austria. This bag looks quite out of place. Mm. Could the bag be from Greece? Mm. Where's this from now? Time's up. Stop writing, please. I have the results, but before I reveal them, here's the answers for you and the good people at home. Ari is modelling a Turkish evil eye necklace and an Austrian waistcoat. Lida is wearing a Scottish sporran and a Turkish bag. Ale sports a Turkish hat and a Scottish dagger or Ski and do for our Scottish viewers. Jam is modelling an Austrian waistcoat and a Greek apron. Delightful too. Okay, it's time to find out who will be relaxing in the lap of Thai luxury and who will be spending the evening with the Karen people and their animals. Oh, by the way, only one of you will be experiencing luxury this evening. So. Geeks, 10 out of 16. Fashionistas, 13 out of 16. Streetwise, 10 out of 16. Lovies, out of 16. Oh. Yes! <laughs> Lovies, streetwise, geeks, the village is that way. Fashionistas, there's a limo waiting for you just down there. Have a good night. See you Thank tomorrow. You. While three of the happiest but grubbiest guests this posh hotel has seen check in for a luxury night of hot showers, great food and comfy beds. Oh, look at the size of that! I'm really royal. The other teams were supposed to face a night of harsh deprivation. But the Karen people, known for their hospitality, won't allow that to happen. You lucky losers. It's like opening up a little surprise. I know. What are you on? Oh, I won right. Oh. Mm -hmm. That is good. All right, girls, bon appetito. Cheers. Cheers. Well done. Mm. We are the team that has won the most luxury competitions mm. out of everyone. That feels good. Mm. <laughs> I would just put some rice in my hand. <laughs> the only benefit of luxury accommodation would be a decent hot, shower. Hot shower. But then a snazzy hotel could be a snazzy hotel anyway. When are you ever going to experience There's having dinner with a tribe? Isn't this amazing, guys? Yeah, Amazing. So, so lucky. Can't believe someone's actually touching our feet after the tea we've had. How do you think the others are coping, guys? Better than any five-star hotel, really, let's be honest. Night, lovey. Night, lovey. Embrace the jungle. Embrace the jungle and it will reward you. Oh. As it's proven today. <laughs> nice and cosy.
It's day two in the tide drop zone. In less than seven hours, one team will be abandoned here in the jungle, as the other three teams secure their place in the final. Every team is competition in their own right. I just think we just need to stay on top of our game and just really forge ahead and give it everything we've got, because we really don't want to be going home. Like the Loveys, Streetwise are hoping to put yesterday's jungle disaster behind them. We try and plan it out to do well, but it's just hard. So we might have to sit down and have strategies today and not rush. Try and listen to people's advice because we don't seem to be taking it. The geeks want to make sure yesterday's triumph wasn't a one-off. Coming in first was a massive relief. I just hope it's not our sponsor. While the fashionistas, yesterday's task winners, have their eyes firmly on the prize. The pressure's really on now at this stage. <laughs> we totally, totally want to win it. It's like something you can taste at this point, you know. The victory is, you know, not far off at all. So we really just need to go for it at this stage. And yeah, and win, hopefully. But before the teams can begin the race to the chopper, they face a final mammoth challenge on the banks of Changdao's River Ping. And it's a corker. Morning, all. Morning. Morning. Wow, does that jungle come alive at night, eh? <laughs> Loveys, what was it like becoming one with nature last night? Amazing. Great. Yeah, it was awesome. Fashionistas, you were probably too busy chugging champagne to have seen any indigenous creatures last night. So, let me remedy that. He's <laughs> coming over the mountain. Yeah, look at them coming! <laughs> How awesome. <gasps> That's amazing. These gentle giants are key to your final task in the tie drop zone. Your challenge will be to load up the ladies, ride them down to the river, and then build your own traditional raft. But Steve, how will we steer our Titanic rafts? Well, geeks, you were the team to come in first yesterday, so you'll decide which team gets which combination of paddles and poles. Let me take you through the options. One pole, one pole, one paddle, two poles, two poles, one paddle. Geeks, you've got 30 seconds to decide who gets what starting now. Right. The power. Right. Well, I think the first logical thing to do, I think we should really go for two poles and a paddle for ourselves. Yeah, I think that would be that's a given, mate. I was just speaking to Noi, and Noi reckons whoever gets what, they're all at Boo Boo Creek. Her words, not mine. I think, like, working it out in my head right now, it starts. Geeks, time's up. Let's have them. So, being fair as possible, we'll take two poles and a paddle. Fashionistas, two poles, yes, and streetwise, we can't forget you, you're our mates as well. We're going to give you the stick and the paddle, but the love you seem to have caned everything so far, except yesterday. We want to give you a pole, that's all right. Guys, I don't need to remind you how important today is. Best of luck to all of you. Sam, Song, Noong, bye. The quicker the teams bundle up the poles, the faster they can secure them to their elephants, who will then drag them to the river where the teams can build their rafts. And the only currency these ladies understand is bananas. Got it in. Got it in. You can bring one, just one. First thing you need to do, which Streetwise are not doing, is bring your elephant to the bamboo poles. You need to conserve your energy. Trust me, today, above all other days, you need as much energy as possible. So this isn't really particularly wise. One, two, three, four, five. How are we doing it lengthways? Hold that knot down. Yeah. Three, two, I don't think the lovies have realised that, well, just where Ollie's hands are, are a series of holes he's supposed to thread the rope through. Rope's now at the back. No problem for the Cambridge boffins who spotted that straight away. Joel, just get, get on with it, help thread it through. We've got to tie it to each end here. Spot on. Thread the white rope through the end of the bamboo, attach it to the ropes on the elephant, and away you go. Easy. Now, that won't get through the bushes, this is level. While the boys struggle, female intuition kicks in for streetwise. Is that how we tie them together? Right, Lee? Yeah, good girl, Nicky. Good girl, Nick. Hang on, let's do it. One, two, three. Yeah, get that end, darling. 
One, two, three. There we go. Got it through the holes. And the pennies drop for the lovies. As long as it's through every single one. Now we need to make this really, really tight. While the fashionistas are still tying themselves in knots. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Steve. 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 Ready to go, mate. You are joking. Uh, why didn't we just do that? Well, Look, we spread them. this one through with the main yeah, one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we just saw that the geeks had a very little clever way of tying them. We didn't see the holes through here. It's okay, just tie them yeah, here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. You on? Yeah. And the geeks are on the go. Hold my hand, then, hold my hand. Oh. <laughs> Cassie! Come here. I feel like a Thai prince. Come on, Natalie. We're all about Natalie. Do they get down to the river now and drink half of it? Come on. <laughs> Safe and steady now. The very sacred creatures. Oh my god! Whoa. We're all equal under one sky. Okay. What's that hole in your arm, Meg? Ah. Sure. Yeah. There you go. It's in this way. Come on. <laughs> oh my God. Last on, and Cassie. least elegant are the fashionistas. Okay. Oh my God, I'm on top of an <laughs> You're all right on the neck. Come Maybe. On, like this. Come on. That was very right, stressful. Mmm, yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm. Hurry up. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Waiting for the teams on the riverbank is everything the locals use to make their rafts. Ellie, we need to help. As they made a bamboo, the rafts will float for ensuring they don't break up. Now that's the tricky part. Nothing better than a grandma, no? It's too long ones, maybe. How much rope have you got? Have you got rope for two or for one? No, I have The rope is done now, it's huge. This is where the rope ends. It looks quite strong. I don't know whether I've done this right. Come on now, don't worry, none of us do. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ah. I wish I had a champagne ah. bottle to break over it before it goes. Ah. So graceful. You sure about that? <laughs> She's in. Let's hope it's not one of those new submarine rafts everybody's talking about. We can do balancing. We can do balancing. <laughs> Guys, are we going down river? Nothing You're going down somewhere. Wait. It's totally boxed and it's rubbish, but we can get on it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've got rubber, we'll just rubber up as we go along. Guys, before you go, can you swim? Yes. Okay. You're fine now. I think, think, that's I I think so. <laughs> Wish us luck. Good luck. Good luck. It's kind of working. Have we got our rucksacks? Get the life jackets that we're ready to go. Be alright. <laughs> Streetwise follow closely in the lovey's wake. Third to take the plunge are the geeks. One, two, three. One, two, three. And finally, the good ship fashionista takes to the waves. Now they're all just about afloat, the teams face a choice. There are two exit points from the river. The first means a four and a half mile trek through thick jungle and difficult terrain to the chopper. The furthest exit point knocks a mile off the trek and the terrain is an awful lot easier. Surely a no-brainer. But the teams will only be able to take the second exit if their rafts make it that far. Really good. Yeah, that's good. While they paddle for a place in the final, I'm taken to the sky in a nice cool chopper. Oh. To be honest, Eddie, what do you know, right? Oh. 
That's a very strange way of being on the raft. Alex is found just lying across it like he's dead. I hope he isn't. Hello, yes. Look at Ollie. He's powering the actual raft with his little legs. Bless him. Is that helping? The teams have now been on the river for 15 minutes and they're all still afloat, if not entirely ship shape. All I want to do is punt, 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 punt in my little punt. Come on, geeks! Just keep punting, la 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 oh, come on, little punt. The fashionistas aren't quite so chirpy. The lovies and the geeks sail past the first possible exit. They've realized the longer they stay on the river, the shorter the dash to the chopper. But streetwise, in second place, are abandoning ship at the first possible opportunity. I don't even know why we got up here, you know. Where's the matnik? The very wet fashionistas have also given up on their raft early. Leaving the river now means they'll have to contend with an extra mile of thick jungle in the race to the finish line. OK, let's do it. What, guys? Downstream, the lovies have stayed on their raft until the bitter end, giving themselves a mile less to trek. Who's got soggy pants? Yeah. I've got soggy pants. And the geeks aren't far behind. This is it. After 36 hours of thigh-burning ascents, bamboo hauling, elephant riding and raft paddling, the teams are now on the final leg of the race to the chopper out of Thailand. To make it into the final, all they have to do is not come last. Oh, yeah, that's what happens then, isn't it? To do that, they're going to have to summon every ounce of determination... OK, guys, we're on it. ..and resilience. Here, yeah, here you go, Matt. Here you go. It's your responsibility. But in this drop zone, more than any other, strong navigational skills are crucial. 0206, 2403. What does that mean? An hour into the final trek, and all four teams are off course. Not the first, not the second. Three, yes. Yeah! Okay. 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 Is there a path here? Are you sure there is there? Looks like a bit of an overgrown one, but yeah. yeah. 0203, 0206, isn't it? 0206, don't fall down to 06. That'd be 0606, wouldn't it? Hold on, we're getting crazy. After their map reading triumph on day one, the geeks are finding today's navigational malfunction somewhat puzzling. We're into the map where we stand. But they have a secret weapon. So we'll go down that one. We'll down that one. Mathematician Nim has worked out if they ask enough people. No. Map. It's this road. The probability is that eventually someone okay. will tell them where they are. You didn't speak English. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We found the fourth gate. <laughs> we are here. We would like to go. So here. 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 We, we, we must get to reservoir. This. Oh, yeah. How is the best way to go here to here? This way. This, this road. Okay. On and how, how, how many kilometres this road? Around five. Okay, okay. okay. Let's so let's move. Okay, hope you all enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> so ah, nice boys. Is it me or does that look like Ronnie Corbett? Right about now, the fashionistas who took the longer jungle route could do with a friendly local. Stuck in the middle of the jungle. Stuff flying at you in vines trying to strangle you. Oh man. Why right, is the snakes I'm worried about? Yeah, I hate this place. I've got cats everywhere. <laughs> my bikinis around my neck. And I'm sweating and I'm bathing in sweat. It's absolutely awful. I just want to get out of this area now. I mean the jungle is just so dense. I'm 
I'm almost worried for our teams. No way we. Although Streetwise left the river at the same point as the Fashionistas, they've managed to avoid the worst of the terrain. But it's more down to luck than judgment. I mean, they may be streetwise, but are they jungle wise? What the hell does that mean? You know? Jungle. <laughs> no. No good? No? Okay. <laughs> she don't know. Why all the way down there? Ain't that where we're going to? Nope. Where are we going to? Thankfully for Streetwise, salvation is in sight. And it's wearing a check shirt. Are you going right up there? Yeah. To the right? Yeah. We ain't been to the right, into the woods. If, might as well. Why not? Come on. Come on. Wait, wait, wait. What? The fashionistas have now been flailing around in the jungle for over half an hour. This is completely insane now. And it's all getting a little bit, well, tense. We need to go back up there. We need to get out of here and just go all the way around. We're heading back into the thick of it again. Let's just go around. How? Do you have a way? Please say. They don't know it, but they're tantalizingly close to the chopper. It's just the jungle is blocking them at every turn. Yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, the three other teams have less than a mile to go. There's a river, yes, 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 yes. It's after the river. Yeah. The geeks are still with Streetwise and are convinced the final place on the chopper will be decided in a battle between them. At the end of the day, it's competition. You've got to do what you've got to do. I'm just trying to compose myself for a long, hard run. It's going to be one of them ones. It's going to be Streetwise and the geeks wanting to fight to the finish line and I don't really think I can run as fast as them two now. I've been walking for hours. I don't know what's going to happen. Where do you have to from? Where do you have to we know we're still in with the shout. A very good shout if it gets to a running race. So, we're still in it. And that makes me a very happy man. But from where I'm standing, there's only one team in sight. Right, boom. the first to say congratulations you've completed your fifth drop zone and you're in the final your first well done everything seemed to come together what we needed is a really good kick up the bum and I think we got that with the trek yesterday so today we were really fired up well done. Well done. if we work like we work today we've got every chance of winning and that that is incredible. I mean, that's really, really exciting. Two places left in the final. Three teams still out in the field. Incredibly, the determined fashionistas have fought their way out of the jungle and back into the race. Anything, Alex. Since last place, and a bit gutted, but had a good innings. It was all right, man. We need the help up to now. It's getting hot. That fifth drops in. We are absolutely knackered. Now we are just really doing nothing but adrenaline. All three teams are less than a quarter of a mile from the chopper when the geeks make a break for the finish line.
Well done. Well done. Congratulations. You completed your fifth drop, so you, you're happy? Yeah. Can't even think of the words to describe how I feel. We've come on an emotional roller coaster since the first day of Sky, but I feel ten times the person that I did on that first day trekking for a forest. Honestly, in my heart, I thought we were fine for third and fourth, and I knew that if it came down to it, we might have to spin to the helicopter. Yes! Who would have thought geeks in the final? Just one place left on the chopper. Two shattered teams race to join the Loveys and the Geeks in the final. Oh, here it is. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on, let's just pick that. On the way. Where am I? Please, please. Let's wait for your team, man. I'm going to deliver the news. Come on, Nick. Congratulations, you just booked your ticket to Vietnam. You're in the yeah! 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 Just for him to say, you've completed your anti next drop zone. Get in there, son. Before I take you to the chopper, you going to leave this? I want it to lift it in the ground. OK, well. I don't know why this scheme even lied, because it's good, you know, I saw teams drop out and drop out and, and like you know we're just us and we've made it now to the end which means for the second agonizing time the fashionistas are left behind and this time there's no coming back i can't believe it absolutely devastated it was really tough. We were in the jungle for three hours. We're trying to get through there. a dead end. Flapping around for ages. We lost about two hours there. And even now, like, if I didn't take the lead and just say, let's go, we would be still there. Not even funny. Yeah, I just really wanted to go through the art of Vietnam. The last three teams in, but a word of English, just really bad today. It's a shame because, you know, we really enjoyed yesterday and. Next time, it's the Drop Zone Final, where the treks and tasks will push the teams to the edge. He's not going to move for you, thief! To prove themselves worthy champions, they must combat Vietnam's chaotic city streets. <laughs> navigate its remote backwaters. It's the humidity that kills you. It's unreal, isn't it? And sample its exotic cuisine. Dinner is served. You can see some of the feathers on the wing there. All in a bid to get to the chopper first. Three teams begin, only one can win. Come on, help!